now in session. Uh, and uh, the votes uh, substituting for uh, the uh, legislative vote is legislative like All right. Um, and I would hope, hopefully, um, we are to be on. And Ms. Helmick will be here to join us. We'd like to begin. Advancements we have made over the past eight years are laudable. 
And we must remember, this was accomplished while facing storms, and that's natural storms, of unprecedented destruction during those eight years. While our county continues to face fiscal challenges, we have taken steps such as the creation of the income and expense law to make our commercial properties file <coughs> necessary paperwork to decrease the burden of tax sociality refunds. Further, we have passed the disputed assessment fund legislation, which should further drastically reduce the drain of these refunds on the county's budget. Since one-third of the county's debt service is related to tax sociality refunds, these efforts should go a long way to creating a far more fiscally sound county. Our county was able to close the books of 2016 with a substantial surplus. Some of that has been applied to offset expenses for 2017, while also increasing the fund balance of the county. Our sales tax numbers appear strong. Our home prices are increasing monthly. Unemployment in our county is among the lowest in New York State. In all, the fiscal health of the county appears strong. Nassau County appears to have made substantial improvements improvement to its financial picture. Even using the artificial standards imposed by NIFA, which uses a far more restrictive accounting version of GAF, generally accepted accounting principles, not used under prior administrations or legislative majorities, the county's projected fiscal outlook is dramatically better than under the previous administration and the legislative majority. Obviously, the work of this legislature remains ongoing. We must work to ensure the county's fiscal uh, future remain, remains on the right track. We look forward to hearing from our pre presenters today to assist us in those efforts. And now I am sure that I hopefully he is here. I'm going to ask Controller George Marangos to come forward to make his presentation. Is George Mr. Marangos here? Okay, I'm going to move on then to... Uh, the controller is on his way. He'll be here shortly. Sir, you help, help shortly. I understand he's on the way now, but I'll go out to verify. Now, the only reason why I said I can move on to the um, the uh, uh, Deputy County Executive, Eric Norton, uh, but uh, uh, would you prefer that we wait? How long? Do you think it'll be five minutes, ten minutes, if not? I believe so, ma'am, but I can go outside and confirm right now if you'd like that. Please confirm, because then, then I would ask, uh, is Mr. Norton here? Oh, you're really, Oh, okay. Hold, hold on, Mr. Norton. Okay. Uh, give uh, give Sergio a chance to find out where he's at. It's my understanding, though, we need uh, the controller first because he needs to uh, do what is necessary at this point, closing the books on uh, the year 2016. Officer, like I said, he will be here in about five minutes, but if you'd like, he said to call Eric Norton first because he doesn't want to keep you waiting. No, late. I can't do that. Oh, so he'll be here in five minutes. I, I just told him I can't do that. My apologies. Uh, like I said, he'll be here within five minutes. Five minutes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.